Nichago langu kutojihusisha na mapenzi ya kiolela olela. Nichago langu kutumia kinga. Nichago langu kutoa ushauri na taha kwa vijana. Nichago langu kutojihusisha na uhalifu. Nichago langu kujepusha na mihadarati. Nichago langu kuelimisha wanarika. Nichago langu. Nichago langu. Nichago langu. Nichago langu kuelimisha jamii. Kwa mara nyingine uh, karibu sana katika ni chaguo langu na siku ya leo uh, kuna topic hapa nyingine nzito zaidi tunaenda ku discuss mimi pamoja na vijana wangu ambao ni regular guest wameenda through uh, the same experiences kama vijana uh, na siku ya leo uh, tunataka ku discuss about STD ambayo uh, si STD ya ugonjwa uh, lakini ni STD ya uh, sexually transmitted degrees uh, kwa upande wa wale ambao wako university yani wale vijana ambao wanaumia kidogo ma students wenye wana feel uh, kama mara nyingi uh, wasichana wao wana offer something next to sex kabla wao wapate max uh, mara nyingi hawajenda through classes uh, na vile vile tutakuwa tunaongelea uh, going through the bedroom before you go to the boardroom uh, mara nyingi vile vile uh, unapata kuwa kuna wale watu ambao wana offer sex pengine ndio wapate ile fever ya, ya kazi hapa na pale uh, tutakuwa tunampata hapa Cosmas ana represent ama atakuwa anaongea sana kutokana na experience yake kama kijana ambaye yuko university level na vile vile dadangu hapa Claire vile vile atakuwa anaongelea experience ya kwake kama msichana ambaye ako university ya matashari education level uh, na bwana Salim uh, ambaye anajishughulisha sana na mambo ya sexual education uh, vile vile atakuwa na to represent uh, ile side ya wale watu ambao wanaenda through the bedroom kabla wajipate kwa boardroom so pengine tukianzia upande wa dada yetu kwa mara nyingi tukiongelea hiyo ya sex for max tutakuwa pengine tuna incline sana kwa upande wa wanadada na tumai wanaume pia wako lakini tukianza na wewe Asante sana. Um, it is true it is happening in our universities, in our colleges, in our polytechnics. It is there, it is happening the sexually transmitted degrees ziko na mara mingi tunaziona asua kwa wasichana. Unapata msichana ha attend classes kabisa, jua na jua at the end of it all, at the end of the semester ataenda uh, na lecturer kama ni male atamfavor. And it is it's working in their favor. Ana, ana benefit so long as yana benefit hana shida and they say use what you have to get what, what you, don't you don't have, have. Yeah. sawa sawa nimeshukuru ni umesema <laughs> it's true it's happening outside here now we want it to to make it your personal thing according to you have you experience i know that you are a student at Sigalagala National Polytechnic <laughs> at your own perspective and according to your own experience According to my own experience, I wouldn't say I really like it, but I have a friend of mine mm -hmm. whom we joined together. Mm -hmm. This girl comes to class during and in an akuja class when you're just scared. And at the end of the semester, she's always on the top. And no one questions that. You know, you cannot question the bosses. No one questions that. So Nikitu in a happy nakuna wengine, sometimes you just go to class. I've been through this before. You go to class, you attend classes, but anakunyima, anakunyima hizo marks zako kwa sababu you lecturer, especially kama ni male, anakunyima hizo marks zako kwa sababu ulikata. Ulikata. Yaani ulikata. Umewahi kata wewe mwenyewe personally. Yeah, nimekata. And if you don't like it, lakini kuna wengine ina favor na mimi si kama kuna shida if kama uwezi work hard. Mm -hmm na une kama uwezi work hard kwa kitabu na uko na other ways mm, unaweza work hard kwa kitanda shida iko wapi so ina maanisha una support kabisa kama mtu anataka kwa sawa na ushauri yake it is okay with them ni chaguo lake ni chaguo lake dadangu ameongea hapa nimemmsikia but ukweli ni tukiangalia maisha vile yamekuwa kwa sasa okay sponsorship ni something we know is it it's true. Yeah, okay, tumejua tumeiona iki happen. And tumeona ma student wengi ambao wako pale wanataka ile degree, mtu anaji sacrifice anasema mimi nataka ile degree na lazima niipate kwa namna yoyote. By all means. So by all means. Mm -hmm. So anajiweka tu 
kwa ule mzigo. Sasa tuangalie tu ule ukweli ulipo ni kwamba okay mwanaume sisi mm-hmm. hatuna cha kuofa what do you offer? You can offer money. <laughs> okay. But we, we, we have female female lecturers who okay. also want to this. Okay. But to get that female uh-huh. mwenye anataka you don't position that, yourself. You don't now nah, <laughs> men yes. mostly they have no say. When it comes to such things, eh? Mm-hmm. Kwanza kwa wasichana they are easier to get. Mm-hmm. Do you know that? Mm-hmm. Because kama huyu ni dadangu na lecturer amekuja class amem notice. Na huyu anataka apewe marks. So next time ataenda tu wapi kwa yule lecturer. Na itakuwa hivyo. Itaenda tu wafanye maneno huyu apate degree. Mimi uh-huh. nitabaki na shida. Uh-huh. Mimi nita nitabaki tu niko pale huyu ame succeed in life uh-huh. but ukweli ni huyu uh-huh. ajapata it in the right way. So ina maana kwamba mara nyingi vile vile wakati tunaenda kwa graduation square uh-huh. uh, apart, apart from kuona kwamba uh-huh. most of the ladies are not set for degrees. Uh-huh. Uh, wavulana bado wanakuwa juu kwa hiyo graduation list Una, yeah. inamaanisha kwamba bado ni wavulana ndio wanatia bidii sana it katika it so. and i want to tell you the truth eh? mm-hmm. and even look at it eh? mm-hmm. angalia tuta wale wame graduate the first classes mm-hmm. zinatokana kwa wapi mostly kwa madem mm-hmm. and why mm-hmm. the reason being that this person has something to hope ni bidii yako no yeah. bidii yeah. okay bidii in what way ni kwenda kwa bidii ni bidii yako ile yote ni bidii yeah ni bidii yako but let's also look at it eh? <laughs> Also okay staki to, to, but angalia tu me I'm a man mm-hmm. I, I have something to benefit nikienda kwa huyu msichana mm-hmm. but let's say sasa on the other hand mm-hmm. sorry for that eh? mm-hmm. so let's say huyu mm-hmm. msichana anataka something mm-hmm. kwa ke ni easy sana kupata kuliko kuliko kwa kwa yeah. yeah why being that we are going something to hope for which is her body you see ben mm-hmm. let me give you an example mm-hmm. you see ben mm-hmm. let me give you an example mm-hmm. i had this friend of mine his male mm-hmm. na ako university mm-hmm. and every time there's this female lecturer mwenye ame notice kwa kijana ni kijana amejeka ku smart na nyonga vile lazima kwa ameweza kisura yani ameweza yani semi sisi hatujaweza lakini yeah akina class yeye yeah. anakoga tu ako smart hadi yule lecturer amem notice unaona ni bidii yake ndio imefanya lecturer kam notice just keep yourself okay no yule lecturer amem notice na kila saa anamuita ofisini anataka kumpea chance kukua kukua cha cha person wa campus leadership but let me ask how does it mean that sisi si wasa sisi atufanye vitu zingine wanaume wengine wanafanya kama bidii yako bidii angalia wanaweza kuwafanya nini bidii okay ni ni sawa bidii kila mtu anafanya bidii mm-hmm. na tunafanya bidii kwa masomo sasa tuseme tunafanya bidii kwa masomo na hiyo side yetu tunafanya bidii but ikikuja ni kule kupewa ile marks mm-hmm. unapata umepewa vitu at a different na kile ulikuwa na expect yeye yeah, amepewa juu amehopa mwili yake so bwana cosmos bwana cosmos nitakuuliza swali la mwisho una support STD sexually transmitted I don't support <laughs> na kwa, kama hau support nataka kunipatia experience yako kwa pengine pale most enye na kufanya pengine wewe support ama kuna ule msichana ulikuwa namkatia mm-hmm. au unataka kuwa katika uhusiano wa kimapenzi na yeye na kidogo mm-hmm. lecturer amemnyakua mm-hmm. akisha mnyakua anampatia advantage huyu msichana anaenda ku graduate na first class degree ina maana kwamba baada nyinyi wote kwenda nje mm-hmm. hamutakuwa same level mm-hmm. kabla baada ya wewe kuniambia experience pengine tutaenda kwake bwana sali mweze kutuambia ule msichana mwenye amepata hiyo degree mm-hmm your first degree akaenda ka kwa fili ya corporate mm-hmm. ina maana kwamba atakuwa na first deg- first class degree wote kwa pengine na yo second mm-hmm. na ye, kama boss am, anangoja kufanyia mtu interview wanakonga na experience ipi mm-hmm. tuambie okay ukweli ni mm-hmm. tukiangalia tu okay kama mimi sijapata that much experience kuona watu wengi ati wameapeniwa hiyo kitu mm-hmm. but i've seen it happen mm-hmm. Wherever mimi nasomea hapa most mm-hmm. okay nimeona ki happen in this way unapata watu wengi wa, wa kazi mm-hmm. pale most si wanaume why because kuna ladies who are there who have something to offer mm-hmm. to this person mwenye akona hiyo job so to get that job ni easier sana mm-hmm. so huyu huyu dem kupata hiyo kazi kwake 
ni kitu hizi ya kuliko yui mwanaume na kuliko mimi Nime, nimeona wase wengi wakumadiza shi wa me graduate last year, last year but one but wamerude wanaume hawa mm. jabati yu kazi but kazi. demo anatoka huko, anakuja but within a month, asha pati yu kazi asha pati yu kazi, lakini anafanya kazi vizuri yeah. ah, no, no, like a exactly. competent palete ok, ako, sama on competence sama on competence, lakini hile na mnapata kazi, mm. si kumashi yu mwanaume akua competent mm. But you mwanaume ni nyimwa kazi because mm. ana kitu anaweza kusimamia na hawezi lakini Kenya ana. Kenya huwa anasema corruption is an economical activity okay. so na maana kwamba mm. uh, apart from wale wasichana ambao wana offer sex kupata zile marks and ama kupata hiyo kazi mm. ina maana kwamba pia kuna njia ambazo wanazitumia wanaume ili kuweza kupata chenye wanakipata okay. especially through bribing and all those mm. so at the end of the day mm. mara nyingi wale wanaume ambao haja qualify vizuri pale university mm. wakienda nje yeye yeah, aki offer sex aende kwa uh, akienda through bedroom before apa, aingie kwa boardroom mm-hmm. ame offer sex wewe before uingie kwa boardroom ume offer uh, bribe so mm-hmm. at the end of the day mara nyingi mimi huwa napata kuona kwamba mm-hmm. kama ni competence itakuwa ta same and, uh, at the same level mm-hmm. wacha tumsikize wewe ndugu yangu ambaye yako kwa corporate level umeona tume discuss mimi pamoja na wanafunzi uh, wangu wawili ambao ni vijana ambao wako through your experience na wewe kama mtu ambao uko kwa corporate kitambo kwa mfano mwanafunzi ame ame offer sex ame part of first class amekuja kuwa employed amekuja yeye kwa na first class huyu ako na second class wakati amekuja kwa table yako kufanywa interview yeye ako na direct pass kwa sababu ako na first class huyu pengine anataka ku offer bribe ili pia aweze kupata kazi at the end of the day hao wawili pengine umewaandika kazi competency level hukuaje na do you also support sexually transmitted works why <laughs> in discussion mimi nilikuwa nimenyamaza kwa sababu uh-huh. ni, ni story nyingine ambayo mara nyingine inaboesha wanaume especially kwa yeah, sababu wanapata most of the ladies wanapata hiyo kama favor au ina inawapa mm. wanapata boys ni kama tuna tama tunapata all like unapitia shida ndo ufikie mali ni mtu mm. kama msichana yeye ameofa mwili yake mm-hmm. akaingia place mm-hmm. so what i can say or what i have to say is mm-hmm. uh, one kama si vijana because wote tuko tuko hiyo ligia kama vijana yeah. ah uh, mili yetu uh, tusifanye kama our bodies are the temple of god uh, tusifanye kama trading objects mm-hmm. to get favors mm-hmm. that's one thing i want us to know all of us mm-hmm. kama 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 youth mili yetu acha tuitumie in uh, in building the nation mm-hmm. sawa sawa mm-hmm. na sio na, na, na sio tukutumia mili yetu kupata some of these favors mm-hmm. wenye alikuwa anasema mm-hmm. bidi yako mm-hmm. acha kwa bidi ya mali kwingine lakini si bidi kufaisha mwanamume eh kitandani kufaisha mwanamume akupatie favor mm-hmm. like ukiangalia most of these things a degree is something that ukiwaka hard mm-hmm. utapata mm-hmm. na tunakubali ile uh, nini uh, nini because tuko tofauti mm-hmm. unaweza work hard na wewe utawaka hadi kabisa lakini all anaweza pata ni second class second ama, class mm-hmm. ama kuna yule atawaka hadi kabisa akiwaka hard kenye anapata ni hiyo first class mm-hmm. so unaona no, Let's appreciate kwamba tuko na hizo different efforts. Na, yeah, na as long as you've made some effort mm. to achieve yeah. the highest level mm. possible that you can achieve. Tell me you can first class honors. Mm-hmm. Let it be the one to give you. Tell me you can get that. Eh, actually you can get that kazi. Wow. Utapata aje. Okay. Kama ni skills za bedroom zilikupea degree, acha tu hizo skills bado unazikupea kazi. Ah, it is okay with Like you, you after at the end of it all mm-hmm. men will offer money what do you as a lady okay. what are you going to offer kwa sababu you know that men will offer money for them to get employed it's a responsibility for every lady to offer sex ya money to silalia wanawake to silalia wanawake peke yake you hata hata wanaume mimi nakwambia na juu hata wanaume skills wengine ni skills za bedrooms mwapea kazi au mm. wanaume you go to these big companies mm. women the CEO mwanamke anapoangalia anaona ah nimependezwa na mke jana mm. <laughs> inakuwa ni bedroom skills ndio zimekupea kazi hata CEO first class owners okay. they are not to the men out here wanafanya kazi na waje qualify hata kama ni hiyo you see we have his uh, aspects bili mm-hmm. kwamba kuna hiyo ni aspect ya bribe ndio mm-hmm. yake yeah. sana sana pata ni wanaume wanatumia hiyo yeah, yeah, yeah. kwa mlango mm-hmm. wanawake nini in the in the other door wanatumia ya body use what so, you have use to what you have so, no, yes yeye amesema kuna wanaume pia wenye wanatumika wana kama ni bentenza ama nini mm-hmm. but ukiangalia vizuri 
hao watu wenye eti wenye wanaume ni nini boss alikuwa mwanamke na nini hata kupata kazi ya mama sana trust me because uh, for for you to be good in bed as a man mm-hmm. a boss ha, hata angalia eti vile jamu mwenye anakujanga eti lagana anataka mtu mwenye mimi atangalia mengi kwa mzuri kama mtu hapo mbeko sea mbeko sea okay i know kwa ile sponsorship kama whatever it is ishuna mm-hmm. yeah whatever kutakuwa na mutual benefit si ndio mm-hmm. but i want to like uh, tuangalie tu to, to, to look at each in this way yeah? kwa in terms of health mm-hmm. yangu na yako mm-hmm. si ndio okay tumeenda nimeenda na sponsor i don't know this guy nimepana na yeye tu nimeenda amekuwa my sponsor ana benefit wao na benefit na pata ile pesa ulikuwa unataka si ndio so what at the end how your health so effect yeah itakuwa affected ndio maana yake kuna protection that that was very mini that's a very vital thing kwa sababu clear ah look at nini at this nini this way ama si yo out there sasa niko na job one lazima ile person atakuwa niko na pesa mimi mm-hmm. maybe i'm driving and yeah, yeah. 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 then you are either uh, driving a four wheel or you are driving yeah. this way <laughs> <laughs> so ah uh, niko na gari yangu kuinje na most of the ladies ni hao wenye wanasema i will use what i have nini what i have to to get what i need so yeah. yeah. umaanisha mimi as i'm driving my my four wheel i'm also driving a lot of ladies crazy yeah. Yeah. so you're not the only lady mwenye umeniona sasa and i'm not you are not the only lady mwenye nimekushawishi na pesa zangu sasa so wewe ukikuje ti you want to offer your body to wingie ukishaingia hapo mm-hmm. angalia ni, ni wanawake ngapi ama ni how many ladies wako hapo wanafanya kazi ina maana kwa wewe mwenye juuliza pia wao walipigia so long as you benefited jamani yeah, yeye ali benefit mwali mm-hmm. kwa kuweka kuweka hapo kwa kampuni yake wewe mm-hmm. uka benefit Oh, both of you are benefited. What you are satisfied. I think of it all. What you are not satisfied. When I have 100 girls, it is not of my concern. I think to be right time. Yes. I think it's high time as youths we stop focusing on material thing about yeah, yeah. yeah. mm-hmm. 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 yeah. mm-hmm. mm-hmm. yeah. 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 Because you know, when you argue, the pressure ya natoka kwa maskini, I must make it in life. Yeah. 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 So hataki kufara the, the right channel in making it in life yeah yeah I'm because uh, he changed his life so and I either it's either I I, I fail or I I, I, mean, I succeed mm-hmm. so because of the nini of, of the fear of failing mm-hmm. in a bit of a fear you never know when you make a rise evil mm-hmm. it's also very easy to get to the other kutoka easy yeah. Yeah. because wewe umekuja hapo maybe kenye kenye maybe ime imebamba wewe sio mpaka akalala na wewe mm-hmm. maybe you had a a good a, a good looking yes. face yeah. then ukiingia kwa kazi anaona you don't have to be me akiba huko huko sawa kwa kwa kazi yeah. then another lady mm. very beautiful ana kuliko mm. anaingia okay. then huyu ni mtu mwenye maybe ali work hard mm-hmm. like ako na skills na pia ako na body ya kuofa yeah. then the ceo ni hao wenye nyinyi ladies umemzoesha hivyo ya kwamba what will offer sio papers zako but ni mwili yako mm. so akikuja pale anaitisha but akutisha papers anaitisha mwili then the same lady is also less pale ana pale ni mwili akiingia pale that lady will replace you sawa sawa because yeye one alipeana mwili pia ameyamtumia the same lang kama wewe unitumia like sasa ameona both anaangalia what will mwili ni nilishapata lakini sasa huyu kazi yake ko chini kwa basi sasa 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 kumekuwa na sasa kwani beta ametokea mm-hmm. it just a matter of how am i maintaining myself i know what took me there sasa sita je chile tu nikuwa reckless mm-hmm. i know what took me there i have to maintain myself i have so, to yeah, yeah, every so, day asante so nataka tuzungumzie uh, effect ambayo inaweza tokana na zile vitu ambazo tumeziongea uh, hii inaweza kuwa ni maana uh, ni reason ambayo inafanya pengine most of the kenyans ama most of the youths wakisha toka hapa ndani ya university pengine wako very incompetent hapa nje uh, wa, kwa sababu walitumia the wrong means to qualify what they qualified for kwa sababu tunaangalia kuna ile aspect ambayo uh, kama ni mwanadada ana offer sex kama ni mwanaume anajaribu pengine kutumia bribery ndo aingie kwa corporate world pengine ndo sababu ambayo inafanya a uh, quality of education at the university level aweze kupatia uh, ule umahiri ambao unaweza kufanya ukakuwa self employed ni lazima ukisha toka university pengine uitafute kazi by all those means bribery offer and sex ama unaweza ji employ tuongelee hivyo pengine hiyo yeah. uh, ni kulingana na nini maoni yako pengine tuanzie kwa kiki mwenzetu 
uh, talking of uh, mm-hmm. effects mm-hmm. you know okay niki join campus mm-hmm. na kuanga na purpose ndio yeah na kuwa na purpose that i want to get a degree mm-hmm. sindo mm-hmm. ama i want to get a diploma or certificate mm-hmm. so at the end tuangalie hivi hata nime kama nimepata nimepata aje mm-hmm. na what is the skills that nilikuwa na expect kupata nimezipata hiyo ni one thing mm-hmm. atuja hujapata hiyo okay umepata umepata hiyo degree kupitia kwa mwili yako so, mm-hmm. na hujapata so, skills na hujapata skills mm-hmm. what the essence kwenda hapo ungekaa tu nyumbani na unileta tu mwili ukuje kufanya nini unileta tu mwili hapo tu kuja challenge yeah okay, okay. then again most of these people au wasiano ama anyone anafanya hiyo ni mostly ni influence mm-hmm. unapata yule mtu amekuwa influence na mwanzake ameona mwanzake amekuja na either uko ni rich mm-hmm. ama uko wako na vitu mm-hmm. na wewe mwenyewe umekuja umeona hapa campus live iko hivi na mimi nataka kuwa kama nani mm-hmm. so unajiingiza kwa hii ile situation mm-hmm. so like tuangalie tu kwa health health ni important kwa kila mse yes na health comes first mm-hmm. so issue ni nikipata hiyo degree by all those means yeah, na wewe ni mgonjwa eh nikienda pale nipate ile ile degree mm-hmm. but am i am i considering myself my health mm-hmm. cause kuna hasty eyes mm-hmm. kuna other diseases mm-hmm. hata we can imagine sio e, na mara nyingi mtu anapo pengine mm-hmm. kukulipa yeah. uweze kumpatia yeah. sex yeah inamaanisha ko ako na control over you what yeah. tunasema whoever feeds you have yeah. control over you yeah. inaweza kuambia kwa sababu yeah. i've given you the money yeah. i've given you the max yeah. there's no need for me to use a cd or code yeah yeah so what i'm saying is that i don't support it in any way mm-hmm. my health comes first mm-hmm. yeah and to my girls mm-hmm. just listen to this eh? mm-hmm. just take your health important mm-hmm. thank you that is why mm-hmm. you should have a purpose mm-hmm. Papa siko ya kulela na wanaume wote ilikuwa ni upati degree. Mm-hmm. Sasa umetoka huko nje your parents need you to get married. That is also another purpose. Mm-hmm. You will purpose to get married to one man. That mm-hmm. is why you should to one man. Hey. Hey, hey, sawa asante. Umesema getting married to one man after umebomolewa na wale wanaume. <laughs> See you are changing. It is something different. This I time know. round you are trying to achieve mm-hmm. to get into marriage. But at the, time, at the end of the day society kumbuka ilikuwa na ile jana yeah. kwamba wanawake ambao wameenda university are you the only one? Ah, are, na, are you the only one? Kumbuka, kumbuka, only one? kumbuka kwamba kabla nenda kwake bwana Salim kumbuka kwa society ilikuwa nasema kama mwanamke ameenda university ina maana kwamba pengine si wife material na pengine anajaribu ku justify tu hiyo kama mwanaume anakupenda mm. anakupenda kwa tatu kwa wife mpenda mm-hmm. eh hey. uh, kwa sababu hili jambo mimi mm-hmm. i think hivi yangu mimi ah mm-hmm. uh, mimi naonelea ni kama ilifika mahali ikaanza kupatia challenge nini kama challenge wanaume mm-hmm. kwa sababu akiangalia there nini Uh, other ni ni sex amboni hao wanawake mm-hmm. wao hata wasipo work hard they will still uh, use their body mm-hmm. kupata degree whatever they want yeah. wanaume don't have anything to offer mm-hmm. so i think do it can even motivate when you come and ask them and come our wanaume they would work hard more kuliko kuliko wanawake even in the graduation is hata kama hao wanatumia their body but bado wanaume ni wengi mm-hmm. i think that's because mm-hmm. wanaume najua to mimi sina kichapo offer so the only thing i have to do is to work hard uh, and so that i can get this degree pure ni penye mimi najua nafa nafa kupata so penye mimi nazambia uh, generally my thought of it we do nimesema let us not trade our body for favor mm-hmm. because on your mali si tuko tuko na wadogo wetu nyuma mm-hmm. ambao wanaangalia sisi wajue how they they nini they will uh, they will come up so kama sisi tuende tutendelea tuna there nini responsible nini sexual behavior kama hizo kwamba you have to offer your body for sex uh, nini you, you have to offer your body for for favors kama max na kazi mm-hmm. the younger generation wako huko chini when you go class 6 when you when you go lower primary and secondary mm-hmm. they will follow the same route mm-hmm. So, so and they might start doing that thing as early as uh, high school yeah. yes mm. no 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 na kwa wao it let us so much repercussion kama uh, teenage pregnancy yenye ambao tunaona in nini data is of recent past no, because utapata wewe kama nini uh, nini the big sister kwa kwa nyumba you can't work hard you use the back door kupata some of these favors yule mdogo wako anataka fanya nini sasa nini sasa for the same thing so yeye yeah, atanza kupata the nini that boda boda guy ifanye hivi akisina sisi na sababu nataka kufika town cheza tu kama wewe nimechelewa shule sulibebe then but sina sina kitu na 
nakumwambia okay kama una kitu wewe nakubeba tu. Mm-hmm. Yule day ya kwanza, day ya pili nakumwambia sana unajua wewe siwezi kuwa nakubeba tu hivi at least ni 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 ulipe bwana. Sasa mimi sina anything asema ah bwana. Sasa na urembo hivyo bwana sio lazima watu nipatie pesa. Yeah. And that's how they they are getting used to. Na hata wao ni wako university. Mm-hmm. I think that's how they start. Yeah. That's how low they start. Yeah. So I think ni kama venye sisi tuko sasa hivi we start changing that mahali tumefika yeah. na itata itaanza kuteremka chini kwenda huko yeah. and tuna tutatoa na reduce to because when you are continuing to angalia sisi the way to behave to behave responsibly mm-hmm. like you are working hard for what yani kile kenye umepata mtu anaweza tracks back na jua eh hey, wewe wenyewe and work hard for this mm-hmm. lakini mtu anaangalia eh hey, itapata first class ah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so before we wind up uh-huh. before we wind up what i'll say my advice is that If we want to finish as the days to anzee kuju cause if our uh, lecturers are older men if our elders cannot be responsible then let me tell you mm-hmm. our generation will never be responsible these young girls out here will never be responsible mm-hmm. lakini like, lecturer akikuwa mkali akwambie go back to class sit na usome pengine hatujamaliza hatujamaliza kwanza kuna kitu ambayo nataka tufanye uh, saa hii currently ukiangalia pengine the, the Kenyan youth unemployment rate ni very very high so nataka pengine kila mtu hapa hivi uh, kwa sababu si wote hata kama umeshakuwa employed wewe pia ni kijana nataka tuambie mm, kulingana na hizi experience ambazo tunaenda tu, tume happen kwenda through Najua sasa hii unaelewa pengine the reason why uh, kijana akishamaliza pale university aende pale nje hana utofauti sana na ule na ule mtu ambaye alikaa nyumbani na kaanzisha biashara za reja reja. Okay, yeah. Uh, nimesikia, nimesikia kila mmoja. Okay, we have good ideas, but let's also if we want our youths to be good and competent. Mm-hmm. We have one to make sure that kama umeenda university ama umeenda college, make sure what you going for they need degree na skills na skills yeah work for your betterment so no usiende tu pale ufanye eti uingie uanze maneno ya sponsor uanze maneno ya watch the story more just learn just learn asante kwa kusaidia asante sana yeah ah uh, basi tuende kwake bwana salimu ndo tumalize na msichana wako wetu hapa ah uh, mimi i think tena zambia naweza kuambia sisi wote ni mwenyewe na the bigger uh youth population there ni kwamba let's look for skills because we have seen a lot of people say wana graduate na degree zao kuja na zao saidi at a graduate na first class but do wana na kuza mahindi so let's look for skills let's build networks sahi ke ina saidia watu ni kunetwork if you network well ukijuana na watu vizuri at least mtu akiwa kwa malindi na huko huko amepata kaja na mwambia bana wewe unaweza tu kuko kujua huko na mali No mm-hmm. but kama wewe utaenda tu university nataka tu degree then you stick to degree ukitoka hapo kuna degree then umeuliza apart from the degree what else can you offer mm-hmm. we have nothing mm-hmm. so let's look uh, into other things in Nepal let's have that offer get but i think curricular activities jihusisha na wangu mwingine join clubs and yeah. everything at least expand your mind at least unaona kwa ukishafanya hizo other activities mm-hmm. na kufungua pia your mind you have ways of fikiria mm-hmm. because trust me the knowledge about tunapewa sahi with uh, with so many nini with so much information about you for entire and everything mm-hmm. like we can stick to into that always in that mahali mm-hmm. so let's let's uh, look for skills mm-hmm. now to build network asante asante sana mama yetu mama clear tuambie asante sana and me um, and i support what the two gentlemen have said and what i'm telling you ladies and the young men out there is just be responsible Yeah, be responsible. Okay, go responsible in a manisha you will do things in a right way. So to go to responsible, you get skills, try to grab everything you can. Mm-hmm. Get skills and at the end of it all, sisi wenyewe tukianza kuko responsible as youth hapa chini, tutahamasisha wengine tuambie hii sawa, hii sawa. Lakini at the end of it all, what are twezi kuwa sawa? Atwezi kuwa sawa wote. Sawa sawa. Uh, asante sana. Uh, kama ulivyoona nimekuwa na very powerful panel ambayo imeanza ku check through na mimi pengine advice ya kwangu ya mwisho kabla ni kifunge kipindi kwanza kabisa amesema kwa nasali mu networking networking itaweza kukusaidia sana 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 kama wewe kijana ukikuwa pale university the reason why uh, ukitoka pengine university twende pale nje utatamak ni kwa sababu huko unajihusisha sana na watu ambao ni the same pia na wewe mara nyingi Uh, utakuwa unajihusisha pengine na masponsor na mashuga mimi unasahau kwamba hii generation ambayo uko nayo 
hiyo pia yenye uko na that level ndo network yako kwako so vijana pale nyumbani network very very well ukienda university kama aliyosema cosmos hapa wako your skills apart from that degree that you'll get and that others will get according to my sister here claire vile vile kama tunataka ku change hii society lazima tuwe na a different perspective ya kufikiria na tumai a uh, hilo limekuwa ni chaguo la kwangu limekuwa ni chaguo la kwake limekuwa ni chaguo la kwake la kwake sasa at the end of the day cumulative ile inakuwa ni chaguo la kwetu asanteni sana i was your host ben fula asante